All right, guys, my name's Tim. I'm gonna be starting a uh, little quail video blog here on YouTube. See if we can uh, get some information out to you guys and um, get some views here. So I got these quails and they are super cute, really small from Purely Poultry. They deliver them to the post office and the post office will call you when they arrive. You just go and pick them up. So they're pretty calm when you have them in your hand, but other than that, they are crazy. They're all over the place. So wild that I have had to put them, put kind of some of the weaker guys here. This one, they'll just, they'll soak themselves in the water. That's why I have a shallow dish in there. They're rolling the food. I have lost four out of 50 so far. Now this guy, highly recommended a GoV thermometer. I took it out of the birder room just to uh, get some better lighting in here. It was registering at around 98. You're gonna want the temperature for the first week when you get them to be 95 to 100. And I do like to set the lamp up in a corner so the quail can move around the brooder. Um, you know, they let them decide at where they want to be for the temperature. And when you do take the heat lamp out, they will gather in a corner and start piling on top of each other for heat. But when the uh, lights on them, they, uh, they do just fine. They can regulate themselves. Uh, but the thermometer does help. See, this guy's back in there. I have lost four out of 50 since they came. So I'm expecting to lose uh, one more. The cat uh, is very interested in the quail. All right, so I picked them up at 9 a.m. this morning, and I have not changed the uh, bedding since. So we'll go ahead and change it now. I'll show you what should be done here. I have a um, you know kind of a protein poultry starter here. They got a little moist. This is what I've been using for the water, a shallow dish, because you do not want them to drown themselves. A shallow dish works best, but they go right in it. They roll around. I'll show you now. Before I clean it out, let's just give them a little you know, filter water is nice and see how they uh, they react how they go for it. I'm sure they're a little thirsty. So they're going to step in it, you're going to go for it, and there they go. When you first get the quails, you want to pick them up. Uh, let's see if we can catch one, right? You're going to want to put their beaks in it, because remember, they were just hatched a day or two ago. Just put their beak in the water. And then once one starts drinking, the rest will follow. See, they get curious and they'll uh, start going for the water. Same with the food. Um, if the crumble seems to be a little bit coarse, you will uh, put a little water in it, break it down, makes it a bit easier for the quails. All right, so this guy is hurting. To clean the cage, what you want to do is for the first couple of days is keep them on paper towel. You want to keep them on a paper towel because we don't want any splayed legs. Uh, the pine chips, when they're so young, on the, um, now you can put some pine chips in there, but the entire brooder with the pine chips only, we're just going to fill up the box. We got them in quick and change this out. Uh, pine chips by themselves will, um, on the plastic, it will kind of, move their legs out and they could get splayed legs. You're pretty much guaranteed uh, at least one bird with splayed legs if you're gonna do something like that. And that is not something you want to deal with. All right, let's just get a couple birds as much as we can out of here at one hand. All right, we'll go ahead and peel. All right, let's get this wet paper towel out of here. Toss that out. Sorry, guys, we'll get a better camera set up here. <laughs> All right. Now, the move is we just want to line the bottom with paper towels here. Don't want to get any of the birds stuck underneath. For sure, if you had a bigger container, by all means, fill it up. We got these birds going wild, but the birds will move. They'll get themselves out of the way. Come on here, chickies. All right, so just to get a little bit down here, nothing stuck under the 
paper towel. You don't have to be perfectly neat. Don't worry. You're going to be changing this out twice a day. You don't want to have shit all over it. Look at them. They love that clean paper towel. All right. Next step. We have our water. We're going to give them a nice big water now. They've been a little bit more responsible. If you haven't had any drowning deaths, that's a good chicky. Good guys. Now you get rewarded with a big feeder. You're gonna have access to water all day. Now we're gonna put rocks in there because they do have a tendency to drown themselves. They are not the brightest little birds. They got that little bird brain in there. They may be cute, but they sure are dumb. All right, so they're gonna do good in there. The rocks will keep them from drowning. And now we have a big old thing. That food, I guess we will monitor. This was full, we flipped it over, fills the bottom doesn't look as full. We're gonna monitor them and see how long it takes them to eat that food. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting up their cage, put these other little buggers back in there. Be gentle, put them down in there so softly. And uh, we will check in with you tomorrow. All right, have a good one, guys. Happy coiling.